Uh, we have an Elks Lodge that sits on Main Street by the railroad track. Um, that's pretty unique because there's not many towns that have Main Street with a uh, train going through the middle of town. We get that still from time to time, but it's a very small community and he's very fortunate because due to the Elk Soup shoot, he's got to compete against kids from all over West Virginia, all over his region, which is North Carolina, Virginia, Maryland, DC, and then kids all over the United States. It, it gives a child or a young student from Belmont Elementary or St. Mary's Elementary an opportunity to compete on a national level for something. And that's, that's pretty unique, and that's all, again, that's through our Elks, and it starts right there, Elks Lodge 1701 in St. Mary's. An opportunity to uh, really make your like town proud and your state proud. There's so many good values that come out of this hoop shoot. One of them you just did with a young person having to speak and be interviewed. That, that's a life skill that he's learning, but that's one of the many that you get through the elk soup shoot. So I've been in the elk soup shoot ever since I've been able to, which would have been second grade, I think. And I actually uh, lost, I've, I've actually lost in my school three years in, out of six. This is a sixth year. And every time I've been able to make it past my school, I've been able to make it to the nationals and I've been fortunate enough to win in, at uh, Massachusetts and Springfield when they had it there in 2013 that was also here last year. He never really told me, but he told his brother on separate occasions he wanted to get back because he thought he could do better than what he had done the year before, meaning last year. Again, there is some work ethic coming out. Well, it's not gonna happen if I just say, well, it didn't work out this year and I'll, I'll do it next year. Doing it next year doesn't mean anything if you don't practice. So there again, there comes work ethic into the picture and commitment to doing it. When I practice, me and my dad go to the gym. We usually shoot 100 free throws, and before every 25 shots, we do what I what we call perfect shot. Is where and that's where uh, you go up. It's you're literally just shooting a layup, but it's tricky because you got to go one hand behind your back, one hand like this, and it can hit nothing but net as it goes in. I mean, he's had the chance to win it. He's, he's been able to go through that, and he's also been able to go through the, when it didn't go necessarily the way he wanted. And, and that's all part of, of, a, of a bigger scheme called life. And they get that from the old soup shoot.